Hi, Chris Blythe here. So I want to show you a little bit about Leap, which is, I find, one of the best programs that I, I can find that does a job that I didn't realize how good it was going to do. It's Thank you, Watson. Um, what I've found is that we're now under the, 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 the stress of having so much data uh, and no information. I have it everywhere, and it's coming at such a pace that it's difficult for us to deal with. So, and also another thing is that when you're working with Final Cut or when you're working with projects over over several periods of years, there are there are, there are footage that you want to get back, but the process of actually getting to it is such a pain that you end up just getting it from somewhere else or not bothering. What this program allows you to do is to organize things in such a completely different way that I find that I don't use bins anymore. Because what happens if you have something that's a sunset, for instance, and you have something that's got children in it? But do you put it in the sunset folder, or do you put it in the children folder? With t meta tagging, you can actually do both. So let me give you an example of that. Uh, when we went to Africa last year, we um, uh, came back with six terabytes of footage, um, which obviously took a little while to organize. Now, it was at that point then that I really started seeing the need for having things in in basically two bins at once. Now I know that you can obviously make copies of things and, and, and make things appear in different bins and organize it that way, but this is a, just a way more flexible way. So let me give you a quick demonstration. We were in Africa, we're in Tanzania, we're filming a doctor called Dr. Frank. Um, there was children involved because he's a doctor and he's going to these medical clinics and there's a lot of sunsets involved in this beautiful African um, area in Tanzania. So what you can see here on the left-hand side is this is the result of after being there for a certain period of time. You can see things start to stack up. Now, when I came back um, from, from Africa, the first thing I started to do was actually put things in normal directories. Okay, And it was at this point that I went, this is going to take me forever to do. So I actually abandoned that part there. And what I started to do was just have all the dates, which basically has all my footage in there. And inside all the footage is all the stuff. Um, now, this isn't showing anything else apart from movies, so it's not showing all the thumbnail files or anything else that's there or any images that are there. It's just showing the movies, which is great. So what I've what I can do is I can click here, and the left hand side it shows all the different click all the different um, um, clips that have metadata on them, and all of these are anything that's tagged. Things with bigger writing come up with uh, which have more have more tags in them. Like for instance, the mobile clinic, one thousand five hundred five things um, doc, uh, the fame clinic it's they called the the uh, that's what it's called this place we went to in Africa the um, foundation for African medical and education anyway um, and you can see this guy dr. Frank here so if I say I go to mobile clinic and I go to dr. Frank up here you can see that up here it's limiting it now this shows what else is there okay but right now we've got Mobile Clinic and Dr. Frank, and I can see down here, immediately I can say, um, and it's got all these, all these different clicks of Dr. Frank. And so if I say, okay, I want, I want exterior only, then it narrows it down to those, and I can say, oh, there we go, that's that's an exterior shot. Okay, oops. Exterior, 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 exterior. And if I say, okay, I'm going to take away exterior, and let's just see what else comes up here. Let's see if um, slider shots come in. Ah, oh, we have two shots that, that pertain to that. Okay. And there you have it. So I can clear away all of those, and it just goes back to everything as well. Let's give another example. Let's do the thing that we said. Let's get the one with children, there's 349 clips with children, and that's an awful lot of clips. And let's go sunset, pow. And let's just take it from there. One thing that does happen is that if I resize the window here, it's now not selected this window, as you can see. So when I try to go up and down, you have to re-click the window and then go up and down. But it's a it's a fair price to pay. Okay, next. And there we have it. Fantastic. So, and here's the thing. What you do is you can click on this and then drag that into your Final Cut um, thing. What you can also do is you can make little bundles of them together as well. You can actually make them into sub 
uh, like smart folders as well. So it's very, very handy if you if you happen to have, a, there's, a, there's a loop function here as well, which is great for stills, uh, but I don't have any stills in here. And uh, you can also do things like doing it by date as well, which is absolutely wonderful. So overall, this thing is a massive help. And um, I would really see that a, you can clear, you can add this to bins if you start making bins that way. The great thing is that they're referencing them from from uh, not within Final Cut, so you don't get any weirdness happening with with uh, double clips happening, um, which, as you probably know, is a bug that's happened for the last hmm, millennia. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, I hope you get some insight from this. Um, it all makes sense. You can also um, type in, you can say which tags you want to be included or which ones you want to be um, removed. You can search on certain tags. This uh, sometimes I did children and 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 did, I did sunset and sunsets I believe I think I did that when I was getting a little bit tired and I think I did there's a child and children so if I go child it comes up with child and children so there's lots of little bits this is just skimming the surface but it gives you the main idea that you can get a really really good uh, understanding of what this program can do and how it can be handy oh tagging itself if I actually went to something and 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 um, and I was looking at a particular yeah. clip okay um, I can immediately say I want to take this and add a different tag. It comes up with some some recent tags, and and you can even change them if there's uh, you know if there's if there's other things I can add. Oh, it was it's an interior shot, interior, and there it is it's one that I've used already, and then that adds that into there, bunk, and it's added interior to there. So it's very very simple. Um, you can also if you're not in this program and you're minimized and you're just doing your normal stuff, you'll see this little tag here. So if I was just going to be inside and and um, something else, and I was doing something completely different, and I drag this thing into here, you can see immediately it comes up with a tag, a file, or or a mark as managed. You can you can do all that kind of stuff. So it is it is very 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 handy, and um, I've now lost it. Where is it? And uh, yeah, so there you have it. Hope you like it.